You are watching Tarek Media. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to deal with someone who has hurt you. Someone has real hurt you and you feel you are real annoyed, very angry with him or her. What to do when such a thing happens? But before I do that, I request you to subscribe and also press the notification button so that you can always get the videos that we shall always be uploading for you. So if someone hurt you and you really feel very angry, what should be your plan? What should be your plan? Should you plan to revenge? Should you plan to attack? Sometimes revenge is not an option. And attack may, may even cause more harm or may even hurt you the more. So what should you do? How do you deal with such a person? But before I give you the way you deal with such a person, I would like to share with you one story. It is a snake story with a carpenter. One unfortunate evening for the snake, it was in search of food, so it moved out to look for what to eat. Incidentally, it found itself inside a carpentry. This carpenter was a bit untidy. In his being untidy, when he felt tired, he left all his tools just lying on the ground inside his carpentry. Of course, it was closed outside, so he did not worry about anything. He left all his tools just scattered on the floor. These tools included even the saw he uses to cut his timber. So while this snake was crawling around the carpentry, around the workshop, it happened to climb to crawl over the saw. And the saw made a very simple cut on the snake. So when this snake sensed it, it really felt like the saw was attacking it. It looked back and wanted to, it looked back and gave a very strong bite to the saw. Unfortunately, this bite was so strong that even the, its mouth was hurt and it started to bleed. The snake did not give up. It thought this is now war. It thought it, uh, the, the saw was just getting stronger. So the snake also had to become more strong. So this, the snake rotated all around of the saw such that it could strangle this saw to squeeze it very well. Unfortunately, it was the snake that was being hurt the more. At the end of the battle, the snake lost its life and lost the battle too, just due to its arrogance and anger. So, out of that story, we shall drive what to how to deal with someone who hurt you. I told you before that revenge is not an option. Attack might even hurt you the more. So, how do you deal with a person who hurt you? Sometimes in life, certain situations are better solved when they are ignored. 
it is better sometimes to ignore an enemy to avoid the situations that may arise during the revenge, during your attack. So it is better to ignore some situations in life. Just leave them the way they are. Ignore people's insults and wrongdoings. Try to ignore them. Give them a blind eye. Just imagine they did not, they never happened. And ignore. If you decide to attack an enemy, first of all, assess your enemy's strength. How much more is your enemy stronger than you before you can attack? How much more preparedness do you need before you can attack an enemy? Find out what impact will it bring to your side before you attack an enemy? How much more will it affect you than you will lose? during that battle of attacking or revenge. Some attacks might cause more harm than good. Some revenge might cause more harm than you thought. And then also, look at the benefit side. How much more will it benefit you to revenge someone? How much more will you benefit from attacking someone? If you cannot really give answers to those questions above, ignoring will, will be the best option. Ignoring an enemy is the best option. If really you cannot ignore an enemy, then forgiving could be a better option. Learn to forgive. Learn to ignore certain situations in life and learn to forgive your enemies. Thanks for watching Tariq Media. Don't forget to subscribe.